未来はこの世界でただ一人のソウルメイトいや失敗メイトなんだから両尾分かった私やるわ巨乳を買って買って借りまくる Hey everyone, I like to support PC releases of Japanese niche games whenever possible, which is why I bought the PC port of Senran Kagura Estival Versus, despite owning the original PS4 release. I always liked Senran Kagura games, it's super silly, and the hack and slash gameplay has always been great. I was gonna say that there's so much fan service that it's not even funny, but it is, that's kind of the point. I did a review of the original PS4 release of Festival Versus that came out last year. That video goes quite in depth about gameplay and things like that. I don't really like to repeat myself, so instead of doing another review of this game, I figured maybe、uh, it'd be a good idea to talk about the differences between the PS4 and PC versions of Estival Versus. For those wondering which one they should get, I know there's a Vita version as well, but I don't really care about that one. When it comes to PC ports, especially with niche、uh, stuff like this, the concerns are usually the same. What are the differences? What are the graphics like? Are the controls any good? Is it buggy or are there may be any performance issues? Is there going to be a physical PC release? In terms of gameplay, the PS4 and PC versions are almost exactly the same. If you've played the PS4 version of this game, you'll be able to jump right in if you use a controller. When it comes to games that were made for consoles, I usually don't bother with keyboard controls, but that option is there if you don't have a controller or just don't want to use one. The default key mapping isn't the most logical thing ever, but you can change key bindings to your preferences in the settings. The PC port seems to be stable, at least for me, though some people have been experiencing some issues. There have been a couple of patches to slowly weed out the problems people are having. Teething issues seem to be quite common these days, not just for PC ports, but video games in general. I did have an issue where suddenly I couldn't control my character at all. The menu worked and I could move the camera around, but that was it. Aborting and restarting the mission fixed the problem. I only noticed it during the first couple of missions. It's like the game fails at transitioning between different objectives. Very early in the game, I had this nonsense happen as well, but I think that's more of an AI issue rather than a problem with the port. Now that the game's been patched a couple of times,、uh, things have been problem free for me. Reading through some comments on Steam, it does seem that there are still. Some issues there, but it's definitely nowhere near of a disaster like how the Skya PC was. That was that was pretty bad. And I'm confident that the remaining problems are going to be fixed in time. The graphics look great on both PC and PS4. There isn't anything that really stands out on either version, but the PC nudges ahead slightly if you crank all the settings to the max. Both games run at 60 frames per second, but when things get busy, the PS4 can't quite keep up at that frame rate. My computer is reasonably competent. Here are the specs. So, the PC version for me runs at 60 frames per second all the time, no matter what. System requirements don't look that hardcore to me, so I'm sure it'll run well on many computers. But if your computer is severely lacking in the gonads department, then perhaps the PS4 game would be a better choice to go with. In all honesty, I could just mix in some random PS4 footage here in the video and no one would really notice. Not with the YouTube compression anyway. Look how terrible all the fast action looks. Can't really make out anything. But in real life, there's still enough of a difference for me to prefer the PC version. I noticed that some of the text on the PC version is really small, also. I don't have any trouble reading it or anything, but it looks kind of unbalanced that way. But it seems to be isolated to the first menu and this health bar down here, from what I can tell, so it's not really a big deal. That's not how beach balls work. It looks like the DLC on the PS4 and PC are the same, though when trying to download the free ones, the game kept launching, which I don't really understand why. A bit annoying having to close it down just so I can download the next one. Most of the DLC, you know, was outfits and accessories and stuff like that, but you can get characters too. Wow, that scroll bar is useful. In the PS4 version, you can either get them bundled together or separately. Whereas on Steam, you only get them bundled together in packs. I almost always get the packs, but man, costs add up quickly. That's more than the game. Speaking of costs, the PC release is cheaper even at regular price. 
but if you spend the extra cash for the physical PS4 release, you get things. So that's something to consider if you're not sure which version you want to get. I like playing games on a computer because that's just always how I've been doing things. But I also like things, so I always end up getting both. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one who does that, but it's, it does get a little bit expensive to say. So there it is. Hopefully that was helpful if you weren't sure which version of uh, Sanran Kagura Estival Versus to get. Thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you again in the next video.